Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So you probably clicked on this video and now you're very confused because it does not look anything like the thumbnail. And that is because I forgot to film an intro. So this is my intro for this video. Um, today's video is going to be a full face of products under $15, so every product is under $15. I'm pretty sure there's actually only two products that are over $10. It's a really good way to find some awesome products for a super affordable price and I'm really excited about how the look turned out and all that good stuff. So if you want more information and you want to see what kind of look I created with all products under $15, keep on watching. I'm gonna do my face first so first things first is primer and I'm going to be using my Maybelline master prime in blur and smooth this retails for $7.79 at Target but obviously you can buy it wherever they sell drugstore makeup this is a really nice primer it's not necessarily mattifying but it does help to me with oily skin um, and it's less than ten dollars which is really nice if you do want something that's more pore filling I would recommend the soap and glory one heck of a blot primer I believe that one's like between ten and twelve dollars which is not bad at all I also really enjoy that one but this is the one we're going to be using today And I'm actually going to be using a new foundation today. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. It is a pretty new foundation to the drugstore. It's supposed to be a 12 hour wear foundation. Um, I've heard mixed reviews on this foundation so I'm really curious to try it out. And this retails for $8.50 at Target. So still less than $10 for foundation. I got two different shades um, so that whenever I'm not self-tan, I can use one. When I'm self-tan, I can use the other. And in between, I can kind of mix them together. I think that I'll probably need to mix just a little bit of the darker shade in with this lighter one. Just to be safe. So we're just going to start applying actually a pretty good match I did just like one and a half pumps of L30 which is the lighter shade and then um, like a pump of M40 which is a warm nude I actually really like the way that this foundation looks. I've slowly but surely become more of a, I mean don't get me wrong, I still love super super full coverage foundations, but since I've had my skin clear up quite a bit, I really do enjoy wearing lighter weight foundations because I don't feel like I need to cover up as much. But I still really love full coverage and I feel like I really like ones that can be more medium and that you can build up because that way I get the best of both worlds if I really like a foundation. But you can still kind of see a little bit of redness peeking through and um, just like my skin, it's not a super full coverage on first application, so you probably need like two full layers. Um, but I'm not mad about it. I really like the way it feels on my skin. It doesn't feel super heavy. So I'm going to apply probably just like a half a pump of each. So maybe just like one more pump on my face and see if I can build this up at all. Like I said, I'm going to be using another Maybelline product, and 
This is the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. It's got a little like puffy ball on the end to apply it with. And this retails for $9.99 at Ulta. So it's right at $10. Again, not bad for a concealer. So I'm just going to uh, twist this a little bit. And we will blend it out. I really like this. I really like the applicator on it. Um, I feel like you can really control still how much product you're applying onto your face. Um, it's a good brightening concealer. I am in the shade Light Pale because I do like a little bit of a lighter concealer to really brighten up my face. filming today I feel like I need to give my skin a major break from makeup I literally we went to Austin this weekend and I swear every day that we were there we reapplied our makeup twice like I did my makeup twice every day almost um, and that is just not good for my skin my skin really is not loving me right now but it's okay I'm gonna give my skin a little break and it'll all be good. And then for setting powder today, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Powder and the Makeup Revolution Setting Powder. I have them mixed together in the LA Girl container. They're both banana powders. The Makeup Revolution one is just a little bit more yellow. So I like to mix it with the LA Girl because that banana powder is just a little bit lighter. And it works well with my skin. Both of them are super affordable. The LA Girl powder is only $5.99 at Ulta, and then the and then the Makeup Revolution one is $8. So both under $10 again. And we're just going to set and bake our face. This powder is super mattifying, which I really love. a good powder for baking. I think the Makeup Revolution one is like designed for baking. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Let me check. No, it just says luxury. They do have a luxury baking powder, but they also have just like a regular powder. So this is just the regular powder so I'm going to let this sit for a couple of minutes and then wipe it away and then use just like the excess on my brush to kind of set the rest of my face okay so we're gonna bring back some color to our face um, with the covergirl true blend bronzer and this is $6.99 at Walmart. So I really love this bronzer because it does have a little bit of a sheen to it. So it's not a super matte bronzer or anything like that. So if you like just matte bronzers, you may not like this one. But I still think it's super pretty, especially for the summertime. And then to contour today, we're going to be using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. And this is, this retails for $4.99 at Ulta. So this is $5. And it's really, I, this is honestly one of my favorite palettes or favorite things to contour with. Um, 
I just really like the color that it gives you. And it comes with a contour shade and a highlighting shade. As you can see, I love using this also as well to really chisel out my contour and everything, which you'll see in just a second. And then I'm going to take my beauty blender and just kind of pick up some product of, from the highlighting side and use this to carve out my contour. It. And while we let that bake, we're going to move on to blush. And for blush, I'm going to be using the Milani Color Harmony Palette in Coral Beams. I love this blush, especially during the spring and summer season, just because it's such a like sun-kissed glow type of blush. Really pretty coral colors, and I really, really love that for summertime. And this blush palette does retail for $12.99, so this is the first item that's over $10, which is crazy, um, because they're all really, really great products. I'm just going to take this on a brush. Next, we are going to do eyebrows and I'm going to be using the Maybelline Brow Definer in Blonde. This retails for $7.99 and this is definitely I would say a pretty close dupe to the Anastasia Brow Definer if you've ever used that before and if you know me, if you've watched my past couple videos, I've been raving about this. I absolutely love it. It's such a good brow product. So we're going to do our brows. the last part of it. Okay, so we're just going to have a little half-ass-ish <laughs> kind of eyebrow day because that did not go the way I wanted it to. For eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeshadow Palette, and this one is in the shade Rose in the Air. I really, really love this palette, and it is only $4.99, so literally $5 for an eyeshadow palette. And it comes with a comes with 10 eyeshadows, which is really good. It comes with two bigger pans, which are supposed to be like your transition shades. Comes with like a solid matte white to set your eyeshadow primer down with or you know whatever you want to use it for. Some darker shades. It comes with two shimmers. So it's a pretty good palette, especially for five dollars. You cannot beat that. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is take that matte white shade and just kind of set down my eyelid from the concealer and everything. Then next I'm going to take just a big fluffy brush and dip into this top transition color, just like a taupey brown color. 
and start working this into my crease. And then I'm going to go into this like brick red shade right here with a fluffy brush again and just kind of put this like right under where I put that initial shade and on the outer V. Actually, I think I want to put this all over my lid. I'm going to go back in with that initial color and just kind of start fading that out. So my memory card ran out of room and was basically in the middle of doing my eyeshadow. So what I did was just add some of that darker brown color in the outer V to kind of deepen everything up and now I think I'm going I've got this um, L'Oreal infallible eyeshadow in the shade amber rush that is super super pretty so I think I'm gonna pack this on my lid this retails at for $6.49 so I'm just going to take a flat shader brush and pack this on my lid. Contemplated making this an all matte look, but I really love this eyeshadow and it adds just enough kind of spice up your look but not too much so I'm gonna go back in with that sh that brush that I used for the darker brown and I'm just very lightly going to add a little bit more to kind of blend the shimmer and the matte together So, I don't think I'm going to add any liquid liner, but what I am going to do is tight line with my Flower Beauty Pencil Liner, and this is in the shade Brownstone. It's just a dark brown pencil liner, and this retails for $7.99 at Ulta. want to go ahead and do the lower lash line with my eyeshadow and I'm just going to take that taupey color that we started with And then I'm going to go in with that dark brown shade again. So I'm going to just do mascara today, but I did want to give you a suggestion for falsies that are super affordable and those are the Ardell Demi Wispies. They are some of my favorite lashes and I believe they're only 
like yeah they're only like five dollars at Ulta and you can also get them in packs of five for twelve dollars so either way if you wear them a lot I would definitely recommend just doing the packs of lashes like the five pack and I would go through them quite a bit so um those are a good suggestion for false lashes if you do want to wear false lashes but today I'm just going to do mascara and I'm going to do the L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara and this is my favorite mascara and it is only $6.99 at Target so under $10 And then for a highlighter today, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. And this retails for $4, so it's super, super affordable and so freaking stunning. And then for lips today, I'm going to be using my favorite brand for pretty much everything um, when it comes to lips especially, and that is ColourPop. So I'm going to line my lips with the lip liner in Lumiere. And their lip pencils only retail for $5, so that's so freaking affordable. And, and then I'm going to be using their Satin Lip in Strut to go over the liner. And this retails for $6, so... And then last but not least, I'm going to be using the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray to set my face. This retails for $9.99 and that is so, so affordable, especially for this setting spray because I swear this is like one of the best I have ever used in my life and it smells so good. And it's not like a super strong perfumey smell, but you need it in your life. Alright, so this is the completed look. I really love how this look turned out. I wanted to do this video mainly because I wanted to show you guys that you can get a really, really good product for a super affordable price from the drugstore. Drugstore has completely changed the game when it comes to makeup. And I personally love a lot of drugstore makeup or a lot of really affordable makeup. And I use it almost every single day. So... That is mainly why I wanted to do this video and just because it's fun to try and challenge yourself to do something a little bit different. And um, yeah, so if you like these types of videos, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.